Hey guys, Coleybo3 here and welcome to episode 5 of Bayern Munich and I know a lot of you guys are going to be very very surprised to see this up on the YouTubes but uh, yeah, I am back to finish off this series by the time that FIFA 14 ends. I know I've been very inactive this year on FIFA and I haven't uploaded in a very long time but I've had a lot of stuff going on in uh, my life so unfortunately I wasn't able to upload. I do apologise for you guys that were I suppose waiting for, uh, waiting for my videos if there was anyone out there but anyways I am back and hopefully I will be back to my best. Anyways, before I get started, I want to give a quick shout out to FootcoinEmporium.com. They're a cheap, quick, and reliable place to buy your ultimate team coins. And if you use the discount code COLIBOL3, you'll get 5% off all your orders. So go check them out in the link below, in the description below. Anyways, we're going to start this episode off by basically rejigging our brains and taking a look at the team that we had from the last episode. So we've got nine Bayern Munich players in there, a mix of bronze, silvers, and golds we've also got two players that aren't from Bayern Munich and that is Bentner up front who's been an absolute machine in this series if you guys can remember from the earlier episodes and we've also got that left midfield English player who plays with Norwich who I, to be honest I don't have a clue who he is anyways uh, we're gonna have a look in at the transfers because I did try to do some trading and I'm not gonna lie it was very hard very hard like this year I can't get over how tough it's been and basically I'm just gonna run through my transfer targets and this is all the players that I missed out on I spent about uh, this is the last like maybe half an hour I spent about three hours trading and you'll see their market value and take a look at their current bid to see what they sold for now if you take the 5% EA tax into consideration there's literally no money to be made off any of the players I went for so I'm trying to learn how to trade but it's so difficult this year compared to previous years there was always bargains to be had people would only bid up to a certain amount and you could still even make a slight amount of profit sometimes you made huge profits I made 100k plus off players this year that seems to be non-existent now I don't know the reason for it because I haven't been too heavily involved in ultimate team this year but it's just completely I, I don't know what it is I really don't know what it is also coupled with the fact that players prices this year aren't as high as they were in previous years like you look at like the likes of Sergio Ramos there going for less than 10k like that would have been unheard of in previous FIFAs so that could that does contribute slightly to the whole like trading uh, problem that I've been having but uh, yeah it's just uh, this year is so tough and I'm trying to learn I'm I'm <laughs> I'm watching other people's videos to see how they trade because I'm left out of the loop. I feel like, you know, a footballer that, like, retired for, like, you know, maybe four or five years and then he comes back and, you know, he's got to, you know, I suppose, watch watch the big boys play again and, you know, maybe pick up a few hints and tips to get back in the groove. But I was trading quite late at night. I think I started about midnight and finished at 3 a.m. Uh, I've also tried to trade a bit later and I found it tough but uh, yeah I did send a tweet out hoping to you know get some replies of people that would help me but uh, basically it was pretty much all negativity like you can see there was only one person who actually gave any kind of uh, any kind of help so to speak and that was sleeps and uh, I'm basically going to try to pick his brain to see if uh, if he can help me out and basically give me the keys to unlock the trading secrets of FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. Anyways, I uh, I basically just gave up on the trading after about three hours that night. I was just I, I wasn't there sitting there by it, it just trying. It, I was just frustrated, frustrated, pure and simple. So I went out. I said I'd buy some players for the team, and since we only needed two more players to have the full Bayern Munich team, that's what I did. I went out and bought uh, Jordan uh, Shakiri, Shakiri, and. <laughs> oh, I'm so cringy. Anyways, I bought uh, Pizarro as well. So you can see the team there. I put uh, Shakiri out in right midfield and I swapped over uh, our other guy there into left midfield. I can't even remember his name. I need to learn all these players' names again. I'm, I'm very bad. I remember Radier and Goals, but uh, other than that, a lot of them silver and bronze guys. I cannot remember. Anyways, I did crack on in and I said I'd play a few games in the league. And I'm still undefeated uh, so far. I've got eight, seven seven wins I think and two draws something like that basically I haven't lost yet so I was keeping that uh, undefeated streak going but I knew I'd be quite rusty I haven't played uh, ultimate team in uh, quite some time so I knew it was going to be very very difficult and you'll see here that uh, 25 minutes in it was just like a bit of back and forth nothing 
really going on. Shakiri picks up the ball. He plays it into Rankovic. Rankovic is doing just the dance moves for days. Dances around his players and puts a sweet right-footed strike into the top left corner. Keeper stood absolutely no chance and that was 1-0. And just after the half hour mark, he does press pause. And what does he do? he does decide to quit connection has been lost so first game back after not having played in months and we do get a uh, a quitter so that was a good start and uh, i believe we are in division eight right now so that's our first win in division eight so a good start anyways i do come up against a guy who's got a lot better team than uh, than my first opponent he's got eto up front you know he's got oscar and de bruyne sitting in just behind he's got Sherlin in the team it's a good team basically but I did get very fortunate here for my first goal. It kind of ricocheted back and forth. This was inside the first two minutes of the game. Uh, great ball in there by Shakiri, And I believe that was uh, Visa who scored that goal there to make it 1-0. Again, another large slice of luck there by Shakiri. <laughs> Takes the ball off the opponent and just runs. And it falls into the path of Pizarro who toe pokes it by my opponent's keeper. So that was very lucky. He does grab one back here. Eto doing very well. He's got pace to burn. Turns my center back and puts it into the back of the net again here nice little play by Pizarro he plays in Visa who is bearing down on goals he turns once that was beautiful his def a defender dived in there still has the ball again a large slice of luck there for the ball to bounce to my player who puts it in the back of the net but he does get his goal back just before halftime to make it 3-2 that was a good header there by Sacco but look at this Pizarro with the beautiful chip into the back of the net what a goal to make it 4-2 and increase that uh, two goal advantage or basically have a two goal advantage for myself and you'll see here Rankovic doing well once again uh, fooling his defenders puts a beautiful ball into the box and who's there but Weirich to put it into the back of the net that was 5-2 five minutes left pretty much game over he did have time to grab a consolation it was actually a very very good finish Kolarov in off the post and in but that is how the game ended 5-3 so our winning streak still continues we've now won uh, two uh, well the two games since we've come back and uh, we've got a pretty decent record overall so that's uh, six points in total and into the last game and you'll see uh, this guy actually does have a very good team like he's got Lewandowski Mandzukic he's got team of the season Lamb he's got Robin he's got oh, it's just it's an amazing Bundesliga team uh, that he has so I knew it'd be tough given the fact I've got silvers and golds or not silvers and bronzes but I make an absolutely horrendous mistake for his first goal and I gift him I absolutely gift him a goal but again he returned the favor gifted me one and luckily I was quick enough to react and put it into the back of the net that was one all and you'll see here he does actually score a beautiful goal by Lewandowski takes it with a touch and puts it in with his other foot or maybe the same foot but anyways it was a good finish regardless but you'll see here it is Shakiri, Shakiri, and uh, yeah, you'll see the lag w wasn't the best for this game. It was quite annoying, but he does put in a lovely, lovely chip there over the keeper, and it took about five seconds to actually make it into the net, but it did in the end. It was two all, 90th minute. I was like, all right, you know, I'll take a draw out of this game. It's not too bad, <clears throat> but unfortunately, I lost the ball there, and yeah, he plays Aubameyang, and Aubameyang takes a shot to flex out, and who's there but, uh, well, I didn't even see who that was. Who was it? It was Man's... No, it wasn't. It was Macacrian or Macacri... I, I can't even pronounce that name. Anyways, I did lose my first ever game on Bayern Munich. Uh, but, yeah, uh, we're going to take a quick look at the team that I hope to build by the end of this series. And it is a quite, quite an amazing team. Uh, let me know, guys, if you'd like... Uh, that team to be switched up at all or a different formation just let me know uh, but yeah that's I think the best possible team you can make obviously there's like you know informed gods that can play out left mid and you know there's like different places you know players can play like but uh, yeah that's what I think is probably the best team that you can build of by Munich so hopefully I will be building that hopefully I'll get my trading back and uh, get back in the groove of trading. Uh, I am trying my absolute best. But guys, I am back to finish off this series for FIFA 14. And I do appreciate you guys that still have stuck around to watch my videos. And uh, yeah, I will see all of you mofos next time.